Hi, it's Marissa from BumblebeeApothecary.com. Today I'd like to talk about why we use our amber necklaces. So this is another requested video, which I always really like getting. And if you do have requests, make sure to leave me a comment below and let me know what you'd like me to do videos on. But today I'd like to talk about our amber necklaces, how they work and why we use them and different benefits that we've seen. So let's jump in and start talking about it. So you've probably noticed in some of my videos that a lot of us wear these. I like to wear one most of the time. I have not since my baby was old enough to be able to grab onto stuff and I'm afraid of it getting broken because he's really strong and I don't want it broken. But most of the time I like to wear it, we're all through pregnancy and, you know, other times. And then my kids also like to wear them, so I like to put them on my babies once they're about three months up until as long as they want to keep wearing them. My three-year-old still wears his. My daughter wore one when she was a baby and now she has one that's a little bit bigger and it has some pink stones in it, which she really likes. And then the baby has one as well. So let's talk about how Baltic Amber works and the benefits of wearing in a necklace. So Baltic Amber is basically hardened tree sap. And if you want to think about kind of what a, what happens when a tree oozes out sap, it kind of acts like a band-aid, right? It kind of heals the wound on the tree, if you want to think of it that way. Wherever the tree got cut, that sap oozes out and creates something that protects and heals that wound in the tree. So that's nice and all, right? But how does that help us? Well, amber contains something called succinic acid, and it has anti-inflammatory properties. And that means that this succinic acid helps to reduce inflammation and relieve pain. All amber contains this succinic acid, but Baltic amber contains the highest amount of it. When you wear amber jewelry on your body, your skin warms it a little bit, which releases some of that succinic acid, and that allows your body to be able to enjoy those anti-inflammatory and pain relieving benefits. Your skin can actually absorb that succinic acid and then put it to use. In my research I read that the pain relieving effects from Baltic Amber and the succinic acid uh, absorbing into your skin are cumulative, so the more that you wear it, the better it works. You do want to make sure that if you're buying Baltic Amber jewelry that you make sure that it is from a trusted source so that you're getting genuine Baltic Amber. Unfortunately, there are people who make fake versions that wouldn't work as well. So make sure that you're getting it from a source that is high quality and trusted and has genuine Baltic Amber. The company that I got all of our necklaces from is called Funky Birdie Amber and I'll have a link below to their website. But they have lots and lots of different designs and color options. They have bracelets and necklaces of different sizes for adults, children, babies, and they are very careful in their sourcing of their Baltic Amber for making their necklaces. They have trusted and verified suppliers from the coast of Lithuania, so I was really happy to learn that and know that they're a very high quality place to get them from. So I have two of them myself. I have this one that has a little turquoise beads on it, which I love because turquoise is one of my favorite things ever. It has different colors of amber on it too. And then I also have another one that has the darker amber and then it has some crystals in the front too. This one is specifically supposed to be like a pregnancy and postpartum necklace, so they chose the stones and amber and everything to be beneficial in that way. So some of the things that we like to use our Baltic Amber jewelry for is pain relief for teething. That's probably my top and most favorite use is my kids have all had a really easy time teething and they've all worn necklaces and I'm pretty sure that that has a lot to do with it. I have heard testimonials from so many other people who have tried going through teething without an amber necklace versus with one and they can tell a huge difference. So since it is something absolutely pure and natural and safe, then I am all for it. I think that's a great way to naturally relieve pain. Other things that they can help with are if you suffer from headaches, they can help relieve pain in that way. If you have arthritis, then they're supposed to really help relieve that. That's one of the nice things about having it in different forms. You can wear a bracelet if you have problems with your hands or wrists. 
they always recommend wearing the jewelry closest to the source of pain. So like for babies teething, that makes sense to have a necklace where it's close to their teeth. Same would go for if you suffer from headaches, you know, wearing a necklace would be close to your head. The ladies at Funky Birdie Amber also make necklaces with a combination of other crystals and different stones that are supposed to help with things like anxiety. So definitely check out their collection. I think you'll really like looking through it. My three-year-old, he has just the regular orange Baltic amber on his necklace. And then my daughter, like I said, she has some amber with some pink stones in there, some rose quartz. And then the baby, he has some amber with some little green stones as well. So it's really fun to be able to pick the different color combinations depending on what people like. Make sure to go check out Funky Birdie Amber's website. This is not a sponsored video or anything like that, not even an affiliate relationship or anything. I just really like their stuff. I've bought a bunch of necklaces, like I said, from them. I've been really happy with it. They're wonderful ladies who own that. They're actually a couple moms in Texas who make all the necklaces and bracelets and everything by hand. And they're wonderful people. They're always great to deal with. So that's my recommended source if you're looking to buy some Baltic Amber jewelry for sure. All right, so that is the whole rundown on our Amber necklaces, why we use them and the things that they help with and how Amber works. So I hope that you found that interesting and helpful. Let me know if you have ever used Amber jewelry before and how it's helped you. Leave me a comment, I'd love to hear all about it. And like I said, I'll have links below to Funky Birdie Amber's website where you can check out all the beautiful jewelry that they have. Also check out that description box for links to free eBooks and other goodies. Okay, if you did like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with anybody else you think would like to learn about Amber jewelry. Here on my channel, I show you how to make nourishing recipes for nutrient dense food, natural remedies and DIY skincare and home products. So if those are something that you're interested in and you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. I get out two videos every week. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.